let's say I have two numbers, right? 90, 3, 100 and from that I'm going to take away 69 hundredths so this is all I have 93 hundredths which means I have 93 pieces out of one whole if I had a, a cube So if I have a cube of 100, out of this whole cube, one whole cube, I have 93 of them. So that means I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93. That's all I have. So I don't have a hole. And from this, I have to take away 69, 69 hundredths. I'm taking away from it. So that means this is all I have and I'm taking away 69 hundredths. Oh my gosh, Peter. Okay, boom. Okay, I'm starting with the number on top, which is my larger number. 93. I need to take nine from three. One, two, three. I only have three. I can't take nine away from this. I have to borrow. So I borrow from this. This becomes an eight. I had three, right? But now I have one 10 that I've borrowed. I borrowed from the tens place, right? So I have 10 plus 3, which is 13. So this 3 basically became a 13. I always cross it off and write 13. I don't ever do that. And that's just preference. Some people do this where they borrow. They make this an 8 and then they put that here. But I don't do that just because I get confused about, was that a 1? Was this that? I don't know. So I just cross it off and make a 13. Now I've got 13 and I'm taking nine away. So 13 minus nine, I have four left. Eight minus six, I have two left. Bring down my decimal, I have a zero. My answer is I have 24 hundredths left from that subtraction. So I have six and six tenths minus five hundredths. Well, this is what I have to start. That's all I have. And I have to take away five hundredths. So this number, my larger number goes on top and I line up my decimal. So here's my decimal to bring it right down here. I've got a zero here. I've got a zero here. And I have a five here. Okay. So this is how my problem is going to look. Well, there's nothing here at all. So what do I do? Fill it in. Now I have nothing. Can I take five away from nothing? Nope. So I have to borrow from the six. The six becomes a five. The zero becomes a 10. Now I have 10 minus five. 10 minus five, five. Five minus nothing is five. Bring down my decimal and I have six minus nothing, which is six. So the answer is 6.55 hundredths. That's what I'm gonna have left. But one that might be a little bit more difficult. Let's look at one more that's a little bit more difficult. Seven and eight tenths minus four and 92 hundredths. I set it up. Here's the number I'm starting with. This is all I have. I'm not getting any more than this. Seven and 
8 tenths. I'm taking away 4 and 92 hundredths. I don't have anything above the 2, so I have to fill it in with a 0. So now this is what I have. I can't take 2 from nothing, so I borrow from the 8. This becomes a seven and my zero becomes a 10. Okay, 10, take two away, I have eight. I move on to here. I can't say seven take, or nine minus seven. The higher number, I'm taking nine away from this. Always nine away from what's on top. So this is higher, which means I have to borrow again. I can't take nine from seven. So this seven becomes a six, and this seven becomes 17, because I'm just putting a one right in front of that seven. 17 minus nine is eight. Bring down my decimal. 6 minus 2, or 6 minus 4 is 2. So there's my answer, 2 and 88 hundredths. A way that you can check your work, just to see, did I do this right? I don't know. If I take my answer right here, and I add it to this bottom number, it should equal this. So meaning, if I were to say, well, eight plus two, that's 10, carry the one, nine, 10 plus eight is 18, carry the one, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven and eight, well, seven and 80 hundredths, which is what I had right here, which means my answer is correct. Because basically you're doing your whole thing, right? 7.80. This part here we know is 4.92. And I don't know what this part is right here. Well, that part belongs right here. If I were to add these two together, this and this, I'm gonna end up with what I had to begin with. I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if you've ever seen it like that, so. I'm gonna do one more that's subtracting across zeros. Boom, and I'm taking away one, five, three, two. And I'm filling in zero. And zero just like that all right subtracting across zeros nobody ever likes meaning I have two zeros here so I look at this and I say okay I can't take two from zero I have to borrow I have nothing to borrow from so this guy here this three has to borrow from this so set this the eight here becomes seven and it gives this zero and it becomes a 10. That's as far as I can go. Now I go back to here. Okay, can I do it yet? No, I cannot because I still have a zero here. Let's go here. Can I borrow from here now? Yes, I can because I have a 10. So now my 10 becomes a nine. I can make this zero a 10. Now, I shouldn't have to do anything else. 10, take two away, eight. Nine, take three away, six. Seven, take five away, two, bring down the decimal, and two minus one is one. So I have one and 268 thousandths, one and 268 thousandths is my answer.